Hughes is very common play to go ahead and glitch out the defense and get big completions down the middle of the field. Coming up next. This is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Or so guys, you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I'm actually in the Jets playbook. Uh, pulled this as my uh, playbook in Draft Champions. Started building up some schemes. I actually have two schemes uh, at my Patreon channel. I've got the Jets single back wide trips uh, with a five play breakdown, and then I'm going to be breaking down the Jets single back bunch. Um, it might be about six plays, but this play in particular, I did not want to put into uh, the scheme, but I had to leave it in just because this play is so glitchy. A very common play it is spacing out of the single back bunch you can find this obviously in the run heavy running gun balance 49ers uh, raiders chargers chiefs uh, Bron uh, 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 broncos uh, texans Tech uh, lions jaguars uh, basically the bears falcons and, and cardinals so you're going to be able to find this in pretty much any playbook out there uh, and let me just show you the quick adjustment i make and my quick reads and how i can get easy completions and get a pretty much a guaranteed five yards every time now, once again, it is single back bunch, and the play is going to be this play right here, spacing. Now, we're going to go with man blitzes, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to take that slot receiver. Ideally, you want to have your fastest receiver there, so uh, for the Eagles play, or Eagles as a team, Jackson's 94 over speed and the reason why is that depending on the coverages that your opponent uses against you uh, basically he's going to be able to have an opportunity to do one play touchdown or at least get in the seam and pick up a good 20 yards or so so um, against man coverage uh, depending whether it's press or not you're really going to be looking to two different routes you've got this little hitch route that you can drop it down to and get a guaranteed five yards now this is where the high percentage um, pass uh, passing scheme is going to be right here is going to be with Aguilar because a lot of times he's not going to go ahead and get blocked and you can actually go ahead and pop that route against any, getting, any kind of man blitzing type situations. Um, another thing too is you can peek on the backside with Jeffries. Inside position by the defender so probably not the, the high percentage opportunity so just going to go ahead and check it down to that route. So you've got basically slant on the back end side that you can hit. We're blocking six so this will give you a little bit more time. Um, and also this crosser on the back end side is going to be opportunity for you for a huge play too. So um, what I like about this is how it does shred cover two. Now against cover two coverage, once again, we're going to streak up that slot receiver uh, Jackson. We're just going to watch him. And a lot of times what's going to happen is defender's not going to play him and that's going to give you an easy completion. So um, I'm basically looking at these these guys right here. Now I can peek on the back end side. My opponent is using a lot of tendencies. What I can do is I can peek. Um, and if I did peek on the back end side with the slant, and all I'm doing is seeing if someone's going to uh, fall back into my passing lane. So if this guy moves away from the line, I'll just make my next progression right here. So I'm watching these guys right here, high-low. I'm watching the streak route. If he gets pressed at the line, the streak route, a lot of times he's going to get released. And this defender has to play this little uh, little hitch route right here. And that's going to give me a passing lane where I can get an easy completion. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this. This is the 25-yard line. I'm completing the ball down by the 50. So I'm picking up a good 20-plus yards. And if a possession catch, it'll get some pretty easy yards. Now against cover three, you've got that cover three high shell. Uh, basically what we can do is we can peek the Jeffries off the left hand, uh, off the left real quick. We're going to watch high low. And a lot of times with cover three, this route will be an easy separation. will give you an easy completion opportunity. So uh, that's going to be your, your next progression right there. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, with that, nobody's in the area. So we're just going to go in possession or actually rack catch that and try to go ahead and turn it up and get about five to ten yards on it. So, you know, this is a good play to go and jump into in those third and uh, third and five situations, less than third and five, because you know you're going to get this opportunity to go ahead and get this play right here. And if you possession catch it, he's going to come down, he's going to catch that ball, and get, you can get the chains moving for you. So again, against the, uh, the cover four drop, um, once again, um, this route is just going to get naked. Uh, if he plays the flats, uh, he goes uh, over the top coverage, that route is going to be a quick route that you can go ahead and attack. Now, um, also another thing that I, just, I noticed is that sometimes the streak route doesn't get covered at all depending on the coverages that you play. So I'm going to go ahead and run against random nickel defenses just so I, I want to show you on how uh, basically this particular 
play uh, will sometimes never even get covered uh, with uh, with the route. So watch uh, the Jackson's route will be in a situation where he never actually gets covered. So nice little block shed right there. So I'm just going to go random nickel defenses, and what I've discovered is a lot of times this route will not get covered a lot of times depending on random coverage so if you got a guy that really mixes things up does uh, does multiple types of blitzes uh, maybe a whole defense you're gonna have an output here this is exact exact example of what i was looking for so um, depending on some of the random defenses that, that uh, people will use online this route by jackson sometimes will just not even get covered and then you can just make your progressions right there so when i lapped it initially when i just started discovering this play i was using random going against random defenses because i didn't want to try to have any kind of predictability um, and basically what i've discovered is that uh, it's very easy progressions for this spacing setup so once again if you do appreciate these, these tips make sure you hit the like button um, and if you want to see the full scheme out of the Jets, I'll be probably rolling out multiple different formations, but the Jets single back wide trips, the Jets single back bunch. I'll be highlighting uh, spacing, halfback wheels, forward verticals, uh, play action boot. Also, um, in the single back wide trips, I'll be highlighting the uh, stretch alert, X looky, the Salem, uh, zone weak, alert bubble, the wide trail, and then the play action slot cross. So that's, that's going to be two formations. If you use the Jets playbook, that you can go ahead and take a look at it on my Patreon account. So thank you for your support, and until next time.